Today's adventure starts in the valley of Bergstallen. The hike is easy, but we are going to spend the night in a mountain hut. So we'll carry very heavy backpacks, which made this hike a bit more intense. The trail just started, but we were already enjoying the beauty of this valley. We were incredibly lucky with the weather, because it was warm and nice, so we needed to stop in order to take our jackets off before starting to climb the steepest leg of the hike. already climbed 200 meters of vertical drop and the views of faraway mountains appeared on the horizon but we needed to continue before it was too late All the trees disappeared to bring forth bushes and meadows and a few creeks filled with water of melted snow coming from the highest peaks. At this point, there was more snow than we thought. So we had to spend more energy walking up the hill, although the landscape became prettier and prettier. We were close to the top and the wind brought fresh scents of wet soil and wild plants. <laughs> Even Cassie was amazed at the turquoise water lakes. <laughs> After this stop, we could say that we were very close to the hut a beautiful wooden cabin in the wilderness. This small cabin is going to be our home for one night under the northern sky and surrounded by glaciers and flowers. What a place for contemplation and relaxation. Are you hungry? It's dinner time. Come inside with me. It's warm and cozy.
We were very hungry after walking for two hours uphill while carrying 20 kilos of stuff. I really enjoy cooking and moreover if I have someone to cook for. In this case, I decided to make egg noodles with an Asian sauce and some vegetables. This is the first time I cook in a cabin where there is no tap water or electricity. This experience could look like something usual, but it isn't. Cooking in a wooden hut lost in the middle of snow-capped mountains makes this moment very special. I can hear the wind blowing against the roof, smell the pine wood, feel the cold coming from the window's cracks and the heat from the wood stove. Everything seems to be slower than real life and more relaxing. I focus much more on each task I'm doing, like if I was meditating while I'm washing broccoli, chopping ginger, or boiling water. Use the safety pot as mentioned on the notice. Campers must camp at a distance of at least 150 meters from the hut. Please do your part of the cleaning before you go and don't forget to pay for your stay and provisions. The Norwegian systems of huts based upon honesty is unique and it would be a great shame if it should disappear through misuse and theft. Thank you for your visit. Have a nice day. Du öppnar brytteren på gasflaskensregulator. Ehm brytteren öppnas. Rött flamme tecken. This is almost ready. I just have to boil the egg noodles and fry pan the soft tofu. <laughs> I hope you like it. I'm gonna this is the most magical yeah. moment of the day. The time when we fill our hungry stomachs with tasty food and talk about us for hours. In my culture, sharing a meal with someone has more to do about the talking than the eating. 
I mean, we could stay for hours talking about life. And that's what happened this day. Good night. What a place to wake up in. Could you imagine staying here with us? This morning was very hot. Summer was about to arrive here, and all the snow and ice are going to disappear very soon. It's already time to leave. Thank you, Norway, for giving us the opportunity to enjoy this incredible cabin and trail. I still cannot believe how nice it's staying at a place where nobody takes care of it, only the hikers who come here for one or two nights. The trust system built in this country is something I personally admire. Thank you for coming along with me in this adventure. I feel like we are in this together. <laughs>